Hello everybody, Justin2982 here, and welcome back to more Dishonored. Okay, now we're gonna read this. Overseer's undone. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell fate and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's Journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of their of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Hello. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? No. I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. I knocked him out! I didn't kill anybody! Not until now! Fuck you. I didn't kill anybody. He was knocked out. And put onto windowsill. Unless he fell off and died. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? Oh my gosh. Pierre! Can I have a sleep dart? Please, Pierre? Are you up here? Pierre, or rather not Pierre. Right. Can I be of service to you? <coughs> Very much. Um, well, first I need. Oh, cool. First I need. Oh, sorry. Lots and lots and lots of sleep darts. I'm actually going to use one of them right now, so I need to keep 30 coins. Accuracy. Better optics. Okay. Um, I still don't have a sleep vault capacity. So let's go with accuracy. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. Hey, what's your face? Where are you? Shut. Sorry. Shut up. Really? Because I knocked her out. Fuck. Whatever. Let's go. Hi, hey, Samuel. Once again, he's not dead, he's just knocked out. Hi. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell mm -hmm. against the odds. I knew you were our man. No. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. Mm -hmm. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. Stop drinking so much. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope. Is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Interesting. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Mm -hmm. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal us to step Let's go. out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he mm -hmm. doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corporal. Cool. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Okay, so... There is... I don't want to take any of those. Um, let's all take a nap, shall we? Sometimes I think this conspiracy is Good night. Well, we were all gonna just sleep out here. Come on, you guys. Getting around. Whiskey everywhere in this place. Good wine is hard to come by. Ha! Do 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 do. Gonna sleep. But I want to look around first. Where am I going? I don't even know. I don't want the. Well, I do, but I'm not gonna take them. Maybe at the end I will, but not at the moment. Eh. Let's just take a look around first. Slide down the stairs! Um. Hello? Oh, hello there. Take that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Oh. Thank you, thank you. Because Anna, blah blah blah, opponent in the crisis. Blah, blah, blah. I implore you if you know where they are, speak with them. Wait, what? Yeah, whatever the fuck. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. He came into our court. Bloop. Corvo's proved his abilities beyond question. It's not anyone who can walk into Holger Square and put down the high overseas. Um. And Cool. Faced with the question, could he be dangerous? Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Mm-hmm. Oh, well that's all? Okay. 
Taking your bottle. Hee hee hee. Who wants to get bottled in the face? Come on. Bring it on. I'll bottle any of you in the face. Emergency Switch green rations will be available in the civil services district at Sunrun. Bloop. Bloop. Tax assessors. Bloop. Your food coupons before requesting ration. Um. Anybody here? I actually want to talk to. Anybody? 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 Hi. Boop. Did, did you do that? No. It was not to me. It was probably my evil twin. Corvino. Corana? Corana. Cortana. It was Cortana. Clearly. Um, the windows. Uh, if you don't know who to. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't know who Cortana is, other planes, that's quite sad, I must say. Anyways. It's time for me to go to bed. Right after I go ahead and. <laughs> not slide up the stairs. Cool. Anyways. Let's be on our way. I want to sleep. Boop. I'll go to sleep now. Retire to your bedroom. I think I will. Uh, blah blah blah. We read that one already. Learn about weepers. Oh, lovely. I'm up. Is there? Oh, there's something. This book. Wait, what? The Journal of Granny Rags. Of course, I'll tell you, dearie. I won't keep any secrets from you. And then, all the. All the, uh, all the dreary days of my life are like windows of house. From the kitchen, I can see out into the garden where the leaves and stalks are brown and bug eaten. You can see a little lump of dirt where something was wrapped in a blanket and they to rest along the rows of twisted vines. The room, so the front room looks out onto, into the street where the neighbors are all setting fires to their homes, barricading themselves inside, warm and snug, dairy. Don't forget about the bedroom either. It sees into a dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. The first two are hitting him with sticks, and the girl with them is kicking at his dry old ribs. Oh, to have those bones, to boil them in a pot? No one lives in my house anymore, dearie. No one you'd want to meet. When I lived there with my husband, we were fine, very... We were fine, fine people. Vera Moray, everyone would say. Um, <coughs> sorry. Your house is as grand as Boyle Manor, better even. Your dinners are lavish and your parties are the best. And that young Sagalov, Sag, Sagalov, sorry, came to paint my Porsche. I was nearly still in my prime. Radiant, he said. And he was just barely a man. So young, painting all the best people across the land. Everyone wanted a portrait by his hand, all my friends. I was the only one, dearie, wet with his paint, glistening on the canvas for a pretty, pretty coin. But it wasn't all parties and paintings. My husband and I weren't at home. weren't always at home. No, we traveled together, he and I, to the far ends of the Isles, beyond even all the way to the red cliffs of Pendisola. Sorry. To dig in the rock and crawl through the caves, holding up candles and squinting up the walls. Many precious things we came upon, but none so precious as the little boy with the black eyes, Jerry. All those marks and bones carved so deep and polished so bright. I brought the old bones home, hid them from my dear husband, then I learned to boil them and carve them myself. They made such good presents, Jerry. The little mute boy took them home, he loved them so. All the time he came back with new bones for me, holding them up so I could see it in his eyes. Even though his tongue was still, Granny, was tongue, was, his tongue was still, Granny, his eyes would say to me, carve these bones for me, make me another present. And he went so far, so far, all the way to Dunwall Tower, the royal headsman himself now. My little mute boy, his shiny, shiny sword. The royal headsman? Oh, okay. Um, better bones were what I needed, you see. Better bones to carve and polish, scrape and gleam. My dear old husband was always tired. I made him soup, and then he was sick. Better bones was all for my little mute boy, carved in the name of the one with black eyes. And after my husband was gone, given away as birthday gifts, I didn't want to live there anymore. So now I'm old and I don't have any presents. Wait, in. 
So now I'm old, and don't have many to give my presents to. It's stifling, though, the garbage for granny the rags, and feeding the little birdies that gather at my feet. No one wants to have tea, dearie, especially those rude louts on Bottle Street. Slack John and his boy is always meddling with an old woman, trying to take her way. Trying to trying to make her... Just trying to make her way, sorry. Um, in the end, we'll be with him. You and me in the dreary night with stars above and below. Always the one with the black eyes, Jerry. I'd prefer not, thank you. I don't see anything real. Wait, this is a book. I don't know if I read this. Early life and criminal records, slackjaw. Excuse me, sorry, there's quite a bit here. Uh, well, there you go, you can just pause it wherever. Excuse me, sorry. Um. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. And oh, blah, 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 and blah. Okay, let us be on our way. Go, run, 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 run. Yes, I know there's many nearby. Actually, I just don't want any. Speaking of which, do I have any extras? I think I do. I do healthy appetite. Food heals me slightly more. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um. This thing with Piero, I just gotta find where it actually is, though. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's what? duty to this place report fall apart in ten minutes. And action. This this can't state happen. Depends Stop on you. I did nothing. What the Are fuck? You have, you you lost your have you lost your senses? This can't happen. Stop it. Hip hip hip. Outsider himself. What is this? Hip 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 hip. <laughs> this hip hip happen. hip. Stop it. But it is happening, and I won't stop it. I don't know. Have you lost yes. This can't happen. Stop nope. By the outsider himself. What is this? Uh, it is me jumping on you. Just like this. Have you lost your senses? Nope. By the outsider himself. Uh. Hello. Oh, I yeah, uh, played that. Whatever. As yet, I have said little. Of my blah 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 blah. Um. Nope. I'm apparently not going to find where I want to be, laying with Piero. Or is it supposed to be right here? I don't know. Hi, goodbye. Um, anyways, let's go out here. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, and thank you. Also taking this with me. This is not the correct door. Eh, but it'll work. I think. What's in here, Pierre? I assume. Yep. Hello. I know the golden cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept blueprints. If anyone is curious, don't. Oh. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought. Never mind what I. Okay. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the admiral. Oh. He has news for me. Anyways. Wait, what news? Oh, well, he's out here. Hello. Oh. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Yeah. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm. Moving. Most likely a weeper. The poor bastard. Cool. There's no hope for them once burr, 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 burr. far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Okay. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. I do have some of those. A lot of those, actually. Let me take my bottle. Her, uh, come on. Her, come on. Her. Thank you. Hi. Don't shut me out, you jerk. Or you. Ah, hello, Corbin. They're important. Eh. 
But at the moment, it seems we have an unwelcome visitor here at the Hound. I can't turn close it. Would like your Whatever. I'm doing my thing. Hello? I have a bottle. If that matters to you. Ha! Ignore that. Yep. Oh. I thought that was all water. Apparently I was wrong. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's my way out. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave that open from now on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right? Right. Yep. I'm just gonna have this ready to go. Just in case. Blah, blah, blah. Calm your butt. Literally. Oh, fuck! No! Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Oh, fuck. That scared me. Ooh. Sleep. Sure. Whatever. An ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the meeting next week or ever again. For that matter, what happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labor labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. I, did, I want. Thank you. Well, goodbye. Anything else? Sight. Oh no! Yeah. A, ooh. Hip. Hello. I hear you. I will take you. Thank you. Any more? Nope. Just all those. Anything over here? Is he did run over here for no reason? Nope, nothing. Bam, 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 bam. <coughs> Sorry. See, I would take one of them with me, except they drown as I was making my way over. Oh, ooh, stuff. Thank you. Bit of money. Bit of money for me. But not a bit of money for them, just for me. Hip. Hip. Hi. You welcome. Down there in the sewers? No. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. Nah. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Can I go now? Overseer Thank you. Has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. You think I, I give a shit to... about them? Hi! Someone help! <laughs> Cursed weepers. Roaming all over the sea. Calm down. This I can't! I must! Corvo, have you gone yes, I have! Good day, Someone sir. Help. That was right to walk among us. Does he know? Where are they? They're inside. E. Hello? Hiya! I was just sliding in. Hi. Welcome. You remember Martin, no. An overseer before. Who's he again? Perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. <laughs> you've done it. We know where Emily <coughs> Caldwin is being. <coughs> Sorry. The Golden Cat of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Oh. Little better than a cursed brothel. Well then. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. Hmm. Twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. All right, you want to just go take them out right now and then worry about that? Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. Right, I'll worry about Pendleton right now. Personally. Ha! A moment, ha! What the fuck? We just flew up in there. Hey guys, I got him. You said to take care of him, right? I just took care of him. Mm, boop. Someone help! What now? Corvo. Mm -hmm. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. Mm -hmm. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel. Beyond words. As you drink, of course. Why not? Further, 
My brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. Mm -hmm. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's mm -hmm. just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. Big surprise! What now? I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. <sighs> now go. Please do it before I change my mind. There we go. I'm ready. Goodbye. Hey, Samuel. Sup? Oh, shit. Ew. I'm being attacked by a fish. Samuel. Ha! Ow! Ah! Fuck off. There's a fish. Gotcha, bitch. You ass. Yeah, I know. I oh, I found out. Trust me, Samuel. I found out. Now, if we may, I'll take you to the golden let's go. When you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Okay. Let's go. On goes the mask. And onwards we go. Let's see. Mole charms give you small bonuses. Uh, fuck, I didn't read that. Whatever. You can pause it for a second to read, I guess. I'll get you as or I'll probably be in a loading area, so. Cat, You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. Mm -hmm. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to hmm. make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Mm -hmm. Slack suck. Jaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This I mean, for terrible. poisoning his thing. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. Mm -hmm. I found out. That folks used to fight off the play. I'll lay low, mm -hmm. but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Yep. All right. So, I'm going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers. Ah, uh, fuck. Let's see, chaos. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know this. That's why I'm trying not. It causes a lot of chaos. There's two, three bone charms. Are you done murdering people yet? No. Jeez. Oh, well they fell in the river. <sighs> My so sling boy. Indeed, sir! I must tell you! Hello. I don't have a dumpster for you, so is that thing? Not here anymore. There you go. You're going on the sledge, right? Plenty of room. I can go up there, but I can't go anywhere from there. Yes, these do nothing to us. Cool. I'm gonna go in hill. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I need to get to that thing. Who keeps saying, huh? What just made. What's doing things on here? My computer's doing things. Oh shit. Let's not go up there. Let's head around. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. Sorry. Distraction. I'm assuming you're hostile. 
right? Hi. Oh no, you're not. Let's go. Anything in your pocket for a poor working man? Oh, pal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone, please. <laughs> Sick you. Let's hide you somewhere. Yep. Oh shit. Ooh. Really? Um. Eh, you'll be good here. Good enough, anyways. Hello. Let's go. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Ha! Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk. Oh. The distillery. Okay. Well, I will see you guys later. Because I am going there. Okay. Now let's dream. Well, let us believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt ar aristocratic Pennington brothers. These men are Lord Pennington's despised older brother twins, and they are loyal to the tyr tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lord Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Yep. Okay. Ow. Bad stuff, I guess. Ow, hi. It's what they call irony, I think. Do you think? Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness. Fight it off. Bam! I just jumped on it. Ah! Would go? Shit. Ha! I'm gonna loot your corpse. No. Bat. <laughs> now, if only you guys would die. No. Ow. I prefer not. Oh, I thought I actually killed him. Oh, oh. Ah! Oh, I th I want him to die. Ah! <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Ow! Fire hurts. Hello? Anybody near? Fire! Hi. That was no good. One kills one of us. I didn't kill any of you. I jumped on one of you. And two of them decided to attack me. And then I killed one of you. See? That's the thing. So, you see the difficulty here. Anyways. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. Bam! So. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the steel. That tainted elixir. Boop, 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 boop. Sir. What's all here? Hi. Can I have that bone charm? I want it. There's gotta be a way in here, right? Somewhere. Um, the, is that the only one? Slack job, mm -hmm. wait. Okay. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slack job keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part elixir, three parts of Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Whatever. Slackja, I'm here to talk to you. You know the guy that screwed up your one. So, your name's Corvo. Let's go. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. Mm -hmm. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the boot tank. Half my men are weakers. <gasps> I wonder who. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies. I may have a point of interest for you, see? What is it? 
Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Camp. Mm -hmm. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of oh, security at the shall Golden we? Cap tonight, though. Special guests in the line. Uh -huh. But you're going to walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Well, yeah. Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't, want to kill I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing yeah. my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Fine. Alright, so I think I'm going to call it good here. So thank you everybody so much for watching. You can check out my links from my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description below. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. The still is infected. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the next video we will go ahead and go find his thing and then we'll go into the Gone Cat. And we'll find Emily, hopefully. This is helpful. So yeah, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought it was going to fall. That's fine. Jerk. Bam! 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 Ow. Sleep! 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 You deserve it. Take your friend. Okay, so yeah. See you in the next video. Bye bye! So here's the thing you were just kicking my ass. What the fuck happened that all of a sudden I just started kicking your ass? And Vegeta even tried to help you, but he didn't really do that much. He's just sort of watching right now. Get my wall of photos there. I'm sleeping. I'm ready to go. Get up. Get up. Hurry up. Get up. Stop sleeping.